One reason they call it experimental aviation is that we are allowed as builders to experiment with original ideas that can be used to construct our aircraft. As an example of this experimentation, I would like to share with you how we chose to adapt an automotive heater for use in our aircraft. Our engine is water-cooled, not air-cooled, so we have a source of hot water and a need to heat the cabin. So what we have here is an automotive or marine heater available from your local online automotive dealer. Now what's kind of unique about this is this is all made of plastic. So it's not real heavy. It comes with a squirrel cage blower, which takes quite a bit of power, and two round ducts that we can attach a flexible hose to. Now this comes off, and what we see inside is the uh, heater core, and the connections for that core are right here. What we're going to do for our plane, because we're interested in saving weight, is remove this massive squirrel cage electric motor. And we'll use this on another project, a three-speed motor that takes quite a bit of amperage, but no doubt has a nice capacity of airflow. And what we're left with then is something that's really just perfect for our aircraft. It is pretty lightweight. I would say this is about four pounds. We have our in and out connection for our hot water. Now this part with the open face will be aimed towards the occupants, the pilot and co-pilot. This is optional if you want to connect up some hoses but it's not really necessary. This side I'm going to have face towards the firewall. Now these will protrude through the firewall into the engine compartment and will make it easy to attach the hot water hoses. I'm not going to cut a square outlet rather by simply cutting a round hole I'm going to use a standard flange. Now this will be on the engine side of the firewall and this will be on the passenger side of the firewall. And I'm simply going to count, cut a round hole appropriate for this flange. So instead of using an electric motor to force air through this and into the occupant side, I'm going to use a NACA duct with a hose and let the natural pressure from the flying aircraft force air through this hole and into this area here and that way we get kind of free energy no electric motor is necessary and this should supply us with the appropriate amount of heat and we'll be able to have a lightweight solution to bringing warm air into the cockpit. This will be directed, of course, at the feet of the pilot and co-pilot. I'll make some brackets to attach this to the firewall. In fact, there were already tapped holes into a metal plate on the other side here and I made some simple aluminum brackets which I will bolt in place and then attach to the firewall, one of these on each side. And here are the brackets I made for each side with a lip to mount against the firewall. These bolts and the threaded inserts on a metal plate came with the unit, so that made it very easy and simple to make this bracket 
and just bolt it to both sides. So we have a very secure fitting. And using a Dremel tool, I was able to knock off the little ridges that were on the surface. And we still have the rubber gasket that came with. And this will fit like this. And actually, it'd be nice because this will provide a seal when this goes up flat against the inside of the firewall. So we're going to go put this up and mount it to the firewall. I just need to make the two holes for the in and the out of the hot water and then the round opening for the flange that we attach our air tube to. And looking at the firewall with the heater installed, here are the two pipes for the in and the out for our coolant and our flange will fit onto that hole there. And here's the flange that will fit in place and of course we'll hook our tube from our NACA duct from the outside right into here. So we are getting cold air pushed through the heater core. We will probably look for a way to preheat that cold air by circulating it in the proximity of the exhaust area. And here's inside the firewall. You can see the rudder pedals and the heater unit. We can regulate the heat coming through the heater either by controlling the airflow through the NACA duct or by controlling the coolant that flows through the water lines. This installation is an experiment in progress and only time will tell if we chose wisely as we attempt to provide adequate heat for cold weather comfort while flying. Always keep your aircraft experiments safe. Have another set of trusted eyes review your plans and construction work.